Puju, Wabishka Bene, Samana Kwadi Kwe, Mikanak Waju Nindunjiba. My name is Denise Lajmadir, and I am from Turtle Mountains in uh, north central North Dakota. Uh, Belcourt uh, is the name of the town, or as we call it, CB Singh. I do what's called birch bark biting. And it's uh, an old tribal art that we did up in Belcourt in the Turtle Mountains as Anishinaabe people. It's pre-contact uh, that this work was done. We use our teeth. We don't punch holes in it. Someone had asked me, do, do you punch the holes in it, you know, like with, a, with an owl? And I said, no, I use this, this uh, eye tooth right here. And we fold it in certain ways in different ways and then we then I bite on it and just move it around in in my mouth and, and bite different designs and then carefully unfold it and the designs were originally used for doing beadwork. I would want people to take away the knowledge of and this is something they may not know it is just all of the preparation in that the birch bark biting artists need to do just to prepare to, to bite, but that everything was done in a sacred manner and in a spiritual way for respect for that tree and uh, for the biting. And that, just like I was always told, there's a prayer in every bead that you put in your beadwork, and I do a lot of beadwork also, so you do that in a prayerful way. That this work was done in a respectful and prayerful way out of respect for, for the tree and for the work that, that I'm able to put into it, that it was done in a good and a holy manner. And also that it, it is unique. They're not going to, we, we say it's like a, a snowflake, that there's no two bitings that are going to be alike. Even though I do a lot of dragonflies, every dragonfly, the wings and the body turn out different. So the piece they take away is, is going to be a unique piece.